Little Round Top is the smaller of two rocky hills south of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. It was the site of an unsuccessful assault by Confederate troops against the Union left flank on July the 2nd, 1863, the second day of the Battle of Gettysburg. Considered by some historians to be the key point in the Union Army's defensive line that day, Little Round Top was defended successfully by the brigade of Colonel Strong Vincent. The 20th Maine Volunteer Infantry Regiment, commanded by Colonel Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain and Adjunct Major Holman S. Melcher, fought the most famous engagement there, culminating in a dramatic downhill bayonet charge that is one of the most well-known actions at Gettysburg and in the American Civil War. The historic Hilltop House, built on the hill above historic Harper's Ferry, the hotel overlooks the spectacular confluence of the Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers. The original structure was built prior to 1890, destroyed by fire twice, once in 1912 and once again in 1919, and then it eventually closed in 2008. Popular with dignitaries, some of the former presidents, like President Wilson and President Clinton, stayed there, as well as Alexander Graham Bell and even Mark Twain. In many cities throughout the country, the newest thing for downtown parking is this automatic collector of external revenue, the five-cent parking machine. And it's usually a welcome sight to motorists. For who wouldn't gladly fork over a nickel when he's in a hurry? Of course, no nickel, no parky, and that's no fooling. Well, girls, I was saving this, but if we must, we must. A twist of the wrist, and up goes the green flag, where it will stay for 30 minutes. No more, no less. Don't forget, girls, 30 minutes, or else. Uh-oh, here's the or else, uniform and all. The little clock in the steeple has evidently ticked away the 30 minutes, after which down came the little green flag. The only way to get ahead of this watchdog is to get back every half hour and feed the kitty. Too late, Miss Parker. The little green flag has fallen to half mass. So sorry, girls, but you can't beat the parking watchdogometer. All right, gang. Well, we stumbled onto a dump site. And uh, remember to save at your Esso dealer. This is plastic. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure when it came off. I'm sure it was some sort of promotional item. You turn it that way, it almost looks like a head of a bear or something. But ah, there's no telling what it is now. But just remember, you can save at your Esso dealer. Anyway. This uh, bottle dump isn't that bad. Let's see what this says. Aloe Worth Quality, Philadelphia, PA. No idea what that is. But anyway, if I happen to stumble on something noteworthy, I will key you in. But uh, 
Yeah, they got some just bottles, just debris scattered throughout here. Detector was going a little nuts, but uh, hey, I'll tune you in. All right, gang. Well, this dump site is actually turning out to be pretty cool. Uh, we have a different layering of trash. We've got some older stuff, got some newer stuff, and uh, got this old cork top bottle, which is pretty cool. And uh, let me see if we can't pull this up. Let's see if it. It's actually what I think it is. It is, but it's completely toast. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I thought it was going to be a uh, old license plate, but no, I think it's just a piece of tin. But uh, it was exciting. All right, gang. Well, hang in there. I'll show you more. Here we go. All right, gang. Now, if I was an owl, I think this is the tree I'd live in. Anyway, we're having kind of a slow day, but I happened to come uh, stumbling across this tree, and I thought it was pretty cool. And, uh... It's really nothing too much left holding it together. Well, I thought it was pretty cool and thought I'd give you a look at it. You can see right through it. All right, gang, stay tuned. All right, gang, here we go. Well, I think this is the way most horror stories start. Yes, that's right, at the old amusement park. Ah, oh, but it's only abandoned here during the winter. But, uh, well, gang, we are out here for our nighttime hunt. And uh, so far, picked up about maybe two bucks worth of change. That is it so far. Uh, you can tell the beach is still quite a mess from uh, the nor'easter a couple weeks ago. And, uh, but we're going to push on through. And uh, we have to be out of here by 10 o'clock. That's what time is posted for the beach to close. 10 o'clock. We have to be gone. Otherwise, we will be a lawbreaker, and we don't want to be that. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to try and find money, jewelry, and maybe Captain Kidd's treasure. Oh, that's for a different episode in it. All right. Well, anyway. All right, gang. Hey, you know what? Stay tuned. If there's anything of interest, I will key you in. All right, gang, stay tuned. All right, gang, well, after four hours of a nighttime beach hunt, we got just over about $3. No jewelry, ah! But anyway, surprisingly enough, there has been quite a few people up on the boardwalk. That place. And uh, even though it does say it's 37 by the treasure hunting mobiles thermometer the wind is actually kicking very very hard uh, it started probably in the past half hour or so there's still actually a couple people up on the boardwalk brave souls anyway hey more power to them anyway we're going to go home and get warmed up all right gang well that is it i know it's quick but hey it's still winter we got some great weather coming up though uh, next week they are saying it's going to be into the 70s. So you guessed it. That's right. We'll be out there. All right, gang. Bye. Oh, we got our little headlight on. Oh, now we can see. And we're going to go see what we can find. All right, you ready? Here we go.